who is off to college and perhaps over 18, a life changes might mean some new decisions. So joining us this morning is Jennifer Roselle, along with Justin Shoemaker of Hunter Estate and Elder Law. It is so good to see you both. Welcome. Likewise. Thanks Thank for you. Us. Absolutely. Okay. So this is one of those things that people at home are probably saying, well, well wait a minute. College <laughs> 18, Estate and Elder Law, what do those two have anything to do with one another? But they do. And it's really important, isn't it? Absolutely. I think one of the things that's oftentimes overlooked is when you turn 18, you are an adult in a lot of ways you don't realize. Right. For example, or maybe in ways you don't want either, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> well, for example, mom and dad no longer have access to your medical records. They don't have access to the ability to sign for you on legal matters. So for those types of things, it's really important to consider having that 18 or 19 year old, whoever it is, going off to college get some of these documents in place because it, unfortunately you don't want to be in a position where you need those documents and you don't have those. This is interesting because I'm trying to think back to when I just turned 18 and I'm like, did I think about stuff like this? But how often, this is overlooked often, isn't it? Oh, yes, it a very often. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, t- I tell parents also, hey, this is the way to still get access to see your kids' grades too. Oh, <laughs> you have power nice. of attorney. There you go. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So you guys talk about, I mean, guardianships, estate plans, wills, medical documents, and it's like, et cetera, et cetera. The things just continue, right? So what else might we need to know or to be on the lookout for? Sure. Uh, Well, like in the last year and a half, obviously, it's been a call to action for a lot of people to try to review and get some of this planning in place. We've actually had uh, some calls from clients now that have said with all the back to school stuff, aside from being upset, you know, behind a bus as the stop signs out every morning. (laughs) But they're also saying, hey, my grandkids are going to be playing football on Friday nights or I watch my grandkids when they get off the bus. I'm a little concerned about, you know, getting back to normal and back on the move again. I want to make sure this stuff's in place. And that's something we can certainly help them. And that's what I wonder too, when they, when they pick up the phone and give you guys a call, where do you begin? Because I would imagine somebody who just turned 18, you're so used to your parents doing so much of it for you. And it's a little overwhelming, maybe a little daunting, right? Because you don't know where to begin, but you guys, I assume walk them through that process. Yes. And our web, our website is filled with wonderful, tons of information, videos to watch. So whether it's the parents doing some snooping for kids or if the kids are actually (laughs) interested and want to learn a little bit, we have a ton of great information on our website as well. Yeah. And website also as well, uh, Jennifer is a podcast too. Tell me about this. Yes, I'm so excited. So about a couple months ago, I I started a podcast called Legal Tea. The episode that actually just got released is talking about changes in NCAA rules and specifically how college athletes are going to be able to start making money. And what does that mean? You're going to start making money and you probably need some good estate planning behind the scenes to support that. I mean, it's fun and relatable as well. And the cool thing, it sounds like it's part of the uh, Indiana Podcast Network too. It is. There's TV. It is. That's (laughs) exciting. That's so exciting. Okay, Justin, I want to go back to you very quickly before we have to wrap it up. But obviously, this is a topic we're talking about today, but you guys do much more as well. Just give me a quick summary of how you could help people, perhaps. Sure. Well, what do you need? No, I'm kidding. (laughs) Uh, So basically, if it involves trying to give you peace of mind, whether it be, you know, getting power of attorney in place for your young adult child, or maybe you have a small business that you want to develop a succession plan for, or just in general to make sure that all that stuff that you don't want to think about is taken care of and and out of sight, out of mind, because we've done it and we've done it the right way, they can get a hold of us and we'd be glad to help. Absolutely. And give me your guys' website really quick too, so people can just uh, find you at a click away. Hunterlawoffice.net. There you go. Easy enough. Well, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Appreciate all the info and for all those 18-year-olds, it's like, yeah, growing up ain't all what it's, uh, you know, oh. carved out to be, right? <laughs> stay young. Stay young. <laughs> stay young for as long as you can. All right. Thank you both. Appreciate it. Thanks for thank having us. Thank you. Bye-bye.